is done compiling and uh, we have 24 successful projects which is all these projects uh so what we can do now we can go back into the original build folder which is where we are at right now i will open it again desktop server lens uh, build we will need to copy from the bin and release with debug information all these uh dbc maps and maps v maps configurations uh lib mysql.dll restarter and config we will need to cut them and we will need to paste them in here build two uh bin release with debug information and we need to paste it here now that is done we can successfully open the server it will work from build two folder uh nothing new here it boots as it should and to open this one up we will actually use the restarter so it will um always restart when we shut it down now do notice that this realm is public as in i can connect into it from my pc but just to make sure you guys uh completely follow how do we actually check this up we go to check your signal no actually um are my ports open and yeah your this website here you get signal and we check 3724 this is authentication this is my current id it is open that means this one here is uh is open server lens testing realm it is open and a085 does is it open it is open and if we shut it down server restart one just for fun to make sure this one actually works yes it does restart and is it open right now nope it it's closed so we will wait for it to open up again it's still closed we will simply wait for this one to uh finish loading and then we will check it again it should display it as open right about now yep it's open all right so that is done uh we have the npc in the game this is the id we need to save uh nine zero 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 and we will need to add the npc into the game how we do that we log from our client and we make sure that we use the command npc add and nine this this is the command we need to add obviously this one here will not work because it has no location it has nothing in it so we just need to log in from our client and when we do that it will add a new npc in here creature right there and we will do filter the filter we will simply look for the id it should not display too much this is what we have this is guide guide is basically the creature id this is the entry and its current location and this is what the um the id of this entry is within the database now there are a few entries one of them is called uh database uh guide and the other one is called guide uh from the virtual memory basically when you when you enter to a new zone you get introduced with a few uh npcs and all of them need to be cached into the memory as in world server will wait more and to make sure that it is efficient enough it saves it into the memory and then it loads it oh my god <laughs> chrome is heavy it saves it into the memory and then when other players interact with it it will continue to uh to remain loaded and when players do not interact with it it will unload but each time you you load a new entry 
it will obviously create a new guide for it. So the new the the RAM guide is not the specific guide that we want. But still, it is only a very brief explanation. It's just an extra. It doesn't really matter all that much, at least right now. So I will go into my PC and I will open it up. I will be right back. All right. Uh. SVLANS is character recreated in Welcome to Trinity Core Course. And yeah, we are GMs. We have all the GM power in the world. We are godlike. And we will be adding a new NPC. NPC add. And you can see there are many subcommands to this specific uh, command. But we will need the entry itself in order to skip these uh, subcommands. So to do that, NPC add. This is the ID that we need. Now, when we talk to the NPC, it doesn't really do much. This is because when we go back into the script, we will see that it has only one uh, one gossip option. And when there is only one, there is only one possible outcome when you talk to the NPC. What we can see here is that the title of the NPC is Serverlands NPC1 and the subtitle is Serverlands. This is great in case you want to emphasize the credits of the creator of your specific script. And this is just the NPC name. You can name it basically whatever you want. Uh, level, it will never surpass level one uh, HP. We can increase it by uh, HP modifier. It doesn't have mana right now or rage or energy. It is a warrior and it is basically a friendly NPC. We can do NPC info and we can see all the information about this, uh, this NPC. This is the guide I was talking about, the spawn ID. This is the ID that we currently have in the database. This is database cached and this is hard coded data that will never uh, be replaced by anything. This is a unique ID that is specific for this creature at this current location only. However, this uh, guide low, this is how many creatures were loaded into the server before it uh, arrived into this NPC. And when it did, it loaded it into the RAM. And this is the guide that is available for this specific NPC. This can change. Let's assume there are uh, 10 players in your server. Each of them is in a different location. It will load a couple of hundreds more. So it is very logic that this NPC will be a thousand or even five thousand it, it, any number here is reasonable in here it can only start at uh two thirteen thousand and uh yeah so let's go back into the editor and we will check what we need to do how we can make it display something 